Hey there, puppet Snuff Bomb here, and Laughing Jack. And today we're taking over the channel to bring you the top 10 most interesting media pastas that dwell in movies, video games, and books. And even a small terrifying part of the DMV. <laughs> well, fuck, man, that's true fear. Let's get started. Number 10 Plymouth. Plymouth is commonly associated with the Plague Doctor of SCP, not to be confused with Plague Pasta of the Snuffcast. Of course, that's mostly unconfirmed in the information department. Plymouth has been known to make people terribly sick. Though he hails from the Dark Ages, he haunts particular films from the Dark Web. Many cases ranging from strange sightings to full-blown murder. Not like that's common or anything. Uh, murder and all that shit. Number 9. Feathers. Feathers is what you'd call a bottom of the bedpan as far as video game pastas go. While you wouldn't normally find him in a typical search engine like Google, you would, however, see him in the ever-so-popular deep web game Sad Satan. Oh. Feathers is believed by some demonologists to be from Babylonia, as his specific killing style is normally split-second and clean. <coughs> Boring! One case in 2015, a teenage girl by the name of Rosalina Drags was completely drained of blood and sitting formally in a chair with her eyes wide open. Sounds like a typical Saturday night for me. Her body was flexible, so she was deceased for more than at least eight hours. So what I'm trying to say is here yeah, she's flexible. And dead. <laughs> la, 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 la. Jeez, LJ, slow down. It ain't a race. Well, anyway, number eight, Timor. Now, Timor may sound like a shitty rap band, but it's actually a creepy fucking Japanese poem. Where, of course, when you read it, you die. Or something. Maybe you're taking out dinner, maybe you get laid, who knows. <laughs> How hell if I know. Anyway. The entity that lingers within the poem is just as emotional and malevolent as an article by the Wall Street Journal. But all that aside, as many as 4,500 cases depict Timor showing up, the least of which happening was a mere assault, just by reading a poem. Huh. Well, I hope it's better than the Jeff the Killer creepypasta. I mean, if it's gonna fucking kill you to read, might as well be half good. <laughs> Number 7. Lith. Lisp is a creature haunting the first Silent Hill game, and most of Mike Tyson's acting career. So, at a certain point in the game, you can choose to go forward to a direct path, or if you point your character to the left, there's a small chance they'll slip into another dimension, and Lisp will kill the character. Unlike more direct game passes such as Ben Drown Boring, we aren't exactly sure where this dimension is located, but who the fuck cares? I wouldn't have a drink with a guy, and that's all that matters. Number six, one freaking weird thing that might be a transvestite. Damn, why did you write that, Puppet Strings? What's with you in transvestites? Anyway, is Sky.exe. In the popular game Skyrim, is known for its wonderful gameplay, beautiful graphics, and helping me shirk my real-life responsibilities. Oh yeah, and fucking mannequins. These damn things appear out of nowhere and can strike at any time. Though they never really harmed anyone, but they have destroyed household items, so, you know, uh, back up your saves, I guess. Number five. Most people have heard of this. No, oh, really, that's the name. Most people have heard of this. <laughs> just kidding. That was just a little joke <clears throat> written by puppet strings. Anyway, the Chiliad Ghost is prevalent in Grand Theft Auto V. Great game. The spirit has a backstory in-game as well as out-of-game. In game, she was the wife of a politician. The politician murdered her and dumped her body on the mountain, the only way to break up with a bitch. In game, her ghost can be seen at midnight in the game's time. The real backstory was presented by the Manhattan Police Department as a woman who was killed and disposed in the same way. The woman was related to one of Rockstar's founders. Spooky. <laughs> Number four Darkling. Known as the counterpart of a counterpart, Dark Link is indeed the character from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, originally appearing in Zelda II Link's Adventure as the final boss. However, he's also believed to be Ben Drown's counterpart, and they're also considered to be brothers. Ooh, I smell a fan fiction! But, Dark Link has been so influential on Ocarina of Time, 
he's also shown up in other places. So far, there hasn't been any murder cases, but strange sightings and assaults. But I know how interesting murder is and suffering is to you people, so yeah. Well, never mind. Hey, Snuff, I'm going to a party. You do the rest of these, all right? What? I'm, I'm not invited? <laughs> In your dreams, bitch! Aw, well, all right, I guess. Uh, number three. Smiley. That's right, Smiley. The crappy horror movie with all the YouTubers crammed into it. Anyways, as you follow the main character in the movie, you notice there's a trigger for Smiley. Every time someone types, I did it for the lols to someone three times, that person gets murdered. Well, some people speculate that I did it for the lols is actually a reference to I did it for the Lutzes, referring to the Amityville horror case, whereas the Lutz family moved into a seemingly safe house where they were then pursued and demonized by a few entities. Which is fine, hey, you know, whatever, you move into a house, there's a couple ghosts, it's just like you get a roommate, who cares, free roommate. Number two, Vinny. Vinny is an alleged music pasta that lingers around the song Freebird performed by Leonard Skinner. Great song. In 1977, the band had a plane crash that killed most all of them. Vinny is supposed to be one of the deceased band members that has turned malevolent. There were no one by the name of Vinny in the band, but some say it was a nickname of sorts. But ever since then, if you play the whole song in reverse, very faintly, you can hear Vinny misses you. Number one. Number one is considered a fairly new pasta, and this, uh, whatever the hell you want to call it, is very particular in who it targets. The backstory with this actually starts with a writer. The writer's name is Carrie D. Redford. She wrote the very last paragraph in 2014, and since then, strange things have been emerging from its pages. The story goes that a half-ethnic beauty with violent eyes became a killer toward the male race for a very dark reason. The beauty is named Celestine Clemens, who happens to dabble in voodoo and your occasional shot of bourbon. Besides the senseless slaughter of dudes, she seems pretty normal. The pasta part of it is that it was pulled from the Amazon marketplace and the publishing company seems to have vanished for some unknown reason. While no one exactly has reported anything odd, but then again those who experienced it probably didn't come back from it. And that's all ten. Just remember folks, regardless of what you believe, Laughing Jack's a fucking asshole who doesn't invite his best friend to a party. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you feel up to it, my channel link is down below, so give me a click. Please, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> I just, I need it, I need it, please, just please, just please, I need it, I need it so bad, please.